Facebook group now as well. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for joining us. Hi, broken ears. I think we are three minutes early. So let's quickly see. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do I'm going to draw a few cards for cancer for the week ahead let's see what does cancer need to know let's quickly put in the dates from the 28th until the 5th 28th until the 5th What does cancer need to know from the 28th until the 5th? Tonight is full moon in Libra. And with this full moon, it's basically... Um, it's required of you to basically have balance in your life in any way possible in your work life in your family life in your relationships and with tonight's full moon whatever your intention is regarding this full moon tonight will more or less within a year come alive or whatever your goal is, or you're planning something towards something. So let's quickly see. So far, the cards that I got for Cancer for the week is the Chariot card, and this is the Cancer card, and I've got the Sun card for Cancer. And in the entire tarot deck of 87 cards, the Sun card is the best card, basically. Um, the Sun card is the card of abundance in all ways and forms. Um, abundance in love, abundance in money, abundance in um, family, friendships, work. Let's quickly see. Okay, and then Cancer has got the Two of Cups. And with the Two of Cups, that is normally a soulmate connection. The general energy for Cancer for the week from the 28th until the 4th of um, April is Justice. And regarding this card, Justice... It's basically telling you that um, a just decision, a just situation in your life. Um, if you basically have, as a cancer, currently legal matters that is um, currently in your circle or um, to yourself, then... Basically, it's telling you that there might be a good outcome with the Justice card. With the Chariot, you got the Two of Cups, and this is the Soulmate card as well. Um, this is um, a, also an emotional card. It's possibly a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And then you've got the Ace of Wands. And with the Ace of Wands... It's basically telling you as a cancer person to listen to your intuition. Listen to your um, gut feeling. 
and with the chariot card you are basically moving towards or moving forward um, to something better because the chariot card is going towards the sun card stability abundance in all ways and forms and this is basically the general energy for cancer for the week from the 28th until the 4th now I'm going to draw a monology card okay so the monology card that came out for cancer for the week is nothing will come of this situation now regarding this it might mean that you cancer were thinking and contemplating about something or planning towards something um, or someone else planning something for you and it's telling you that nothing will come of this situation if it is in a possible um, let's say a negative emotion nothing will come of that maybe cancer what I suggest is before you make quick decisions and impulsive decisions think a bit um, think your decisions through don't just you know go in head first and make decisions and then cancer what you also got is align your life align your life align your life and I'm going to read this for you hello there's someone on Facebook so with aligning your life cancer it's asking you what is not aligned or what needs to change and i think you'll know best regarding that where do you need as a cancer person alignment um, what needs to change what do you have the power of to change? Let's quickly see. Let's draw another card for cancer. The journey card. Okay, so cancer, you got three cards from the journey card. You've got proceeding softly and I'll read this for the other cancers out there and you cancer are coming into your power and you are also embracing the future so let's quickly see my nose is so itching tonight Okay, so proceeding softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. Quietitude. And that's telling me basically that um, that is basically telling you that your inner power is, as cancer is growing. I see some, we've got someone in the live feed. what is your star sign okay so cancer and then you're coming into your power so i step into my power boldly and confidently and then you've got embracing the future i step into the future with an open heart hi twist how are you sagittarius awesome okay so cancer this week looks really really good for you 
um, regarding the current energy that you're in and um, there's definitely something to look forward to okay so twist do you have a question let me just quickly read your question okay well we can find out regarding your move to the city do you have a other question possibly for Sagittarius hello ah hi Chantal okay so let's quickly pull a card for twist twist let's quickly see what might happen if you move into the city okay so twist you've got perfect timing so that might mean that moving to the city is perfect timing for you thank you i appreciate that you're listening to my readings i appreciate sagittarius what does sagittarius need to know For the week ahead from the 28th until the 4th of April okay so Sagittarius you are currently possibly in this energy of the two of swords and with the two of swords you might feel that you're currently at a crossroad you don't know which way to go and making a decision then you've got the Empress card and this is basically the mother of all the Queens in the Arcana um, Tarot and the, she's the nurturer she's Mother Earth she is stable she's a solid person financially heart mind she's basically stable in everything then you've also got the Justice card the same card that Cancer got if you currently have um, legal documents or a legal matter that's currently in your circle or something happening in your life um, it's telling you that um, justice will be in your favor and then you also got the two of cups if this is currently a current love relationship twist that you're in um, this might mean the soulmate card as well it might as well be a water person um, in your current energy or circle and you've got the knight of pentacles as a general energy and regarding the knight of pentacles as a general energy this is basically possibly a financial offer or job offer or a love offer um, on their way or its way to you but it's coming in um, very slowly you are currently feeling that you might be in this crossroad situation <sighs> yeah well I mean when you decided to move this card came out for you perfect timing regarding your move so and I feel maybe regarding the move as well you are in two minds to us regarding this move because I mean there's a lot of things that goes with a move it's not just back up and go I mean there's a lot of planning you know um, back of house planning things that needs to be done um, people possibly to get your um, furniture and items and move them um, and wherever you're moving to do you possibly have other question to us um, I do feel while you're currently in this crossroads energy you will have the balance and stability to make the right decision regarding your um, move 
um, this might bring in a new opportunity as well with stableness of emotions, of love, of work, of um, family. Because this is an emotional card, the Two of Cups. Um, let's quickly see what does Twist need to know regarding... Okay, so Twist, I don't know if this is going to be resonating with you, but a new romantic cycle is starting. Hi Kelly, how are you? So Twist, I hope I could answer your question. Um, but there's definitely something coming your something coming your way with this Knight of Pentacles, but it's definitely coming in slowly. It's not, you know, going to be, you know, soon. But there's definitely an offer offer coming in slowly for you. Okay, rehome your dog last year. Okay, so twist, you're single, so there's possibly then something coming in your way. Let's quickly see regarding the rehoming of your dog. Hi, Deline. Let's quickly see regarding your rehoming of your dog. Hi, Kelly. I will definitely draw some cards for you, Kelly. Let's see. I just want to quickly see with twists and his rehoming of his dog. Okay, so let's quickly see for twists. Um, twist, this is a yes answer regarding the rehoming of your dog. And then I'm just going to pull you another card. And this is from the Angel's Oracle. Another yes. So I hope this could help to us. Okay, so now I see it's Kelly. Okay. Let me just quickly say hi to everyone. Okay, so Kelly, what does Kelly need to know? I'm just going to do general um, energy for you, Kelly. What does Kelly need to know? Okay, so Kelly, you have got the Page of Cups. And this is also a possible love offer or emotional offer. It can even be a job offer coming your way. Um, as you can see with this card, when pigs can fly, so this is like a type of miracle love card, if I can say it like that, when pigs can fly. You also got the page of pentacles. And this is possibly stability coming your way. It might be money. It might be uh, other opportunity for you. Um, thank you, Twist. Let me know. Okay, so let's really see what else does Kelly need to know. So Kelly is either going to present it with a love offer or a job offer or some kind of offer coming Kelly's way. You also got the two of wands, Kelly. And with the two of wands, this might mean traveling, it might mean moving, it might as well mean that you are waiting on someone or something oh wow Australian band dog wow Shupanji 
Hi, Shupanji. Okay, so what else does Kitty need to know? And you've got strength. So, Kitty, I feel with the strength card, you are basically courageous as person. You've got the strength. And you've got another traveling card, the chariot. And regarding the chariot, it's having the balance moving forward. Um, having the stability. Financial, heart, mind, stability. I'm going to pull you another card, Kelly, from the Moonology. Okay, so Kelly, the answers that you need are coming. And then the other one that came out for you is bring love into the situation. So I think this will... It will make sense to you. And then your last card, Kelly, before I move on to um, Shubanji. I hope I pronounce it right. Shubanji. Okay. Kelly, the another card that came out for you is Compromise. And I feel, Kelly, you would know best regarding this Compromise. What... Or what do you need to compromise? Okay, so next. Okay. Scorpio. He's Capricorn. Okay. Shubanji, what would you like to know regarding a love situation? You are Scorpio and he's Capricorn. Okay. Pleasure, Kelly. Anytime. Okay, so Shubanji, the first card that came out for you, it seems that this is going to be a week of love for everyone. <laughs> because Shubanji, the, the card that came out for you is a two of cups. And this is like a, a love offer, um, a love relationship, emotional. This is the emotional card. Soulmate God. Um, let me just quickly do this. Yeah. And then you've got the Four of Pentacles as well. And with the Four of Pentacles, Shubanji, I feel that one of you in this love connection possibly are withholding. Um, you're not open to sharing that much. One of you. You would know best in your situation, but someone is not ready to share their heart, to share their mind, to share themselves. And then you've got the King of Swords, and this might be an air sign, or someone with air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, what I'm going to do as well is... Let's quickly see, you say, intentions, okay, feelings, okay, intentions towards you. What is his intentions? Quickly see, Shubanji. Let's quickly see, what does Shubanji need to know? Um, Shubanji, it says a new romantic cycle begins. So I feel regarding this new romantic cycle is that you're, if you are currently in a committed um, relationship with someone, um, within your current commitment, um, there is going to be a new cycle of love for you. Um, it's still your choice. It's still your prerogative. Um if you want to take the matter further in your current love commitment. You've got the pillar of light, Shubanji. Your vibration is rising. You are an oracle. The pillar of light, Shubanji. And then the last two cards that I want to draw you, Shubanji. 
Okay. It's feeling intentions towards me. Um, regarding the feelings, if if they if he is your ex, then if he has the feelings of the King of Swords towards you, an Aries person, not an Aries person, an air person, or with air in their chart, he might feel very blunt. He might feel very, he's a very direct person. He doesn't share that much um, information. Um, what he possibly want to tell you is, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. And Shibanji, you would know best who is sorry towards you, possibly. Let's really see. This is my um, Dream Infinity Love Oracle deck I have created and I have designed. And this is basically the love messages that your person of interest wants to tell you. Yeah, this person is asking your forgiveness, Shibanji. I think the feelings that he's got towards you, even if he's the ex, um, is he's possibly asking you to forgive him. Let's quickly see what else comes out. Looks good. <laughs> good. Okay. So, some of you has got unhealed wounds that is affecting your future relationship. So, you would know best regarding this unhealed wounds. And then also, someone would like to tell you, you are my being, part of my soul. So, the last card, Shibanji, that I want to draw for you is from the Angel Answers Oracle. Let's quickly see. Um, okay, so you would know best regarding this matter. It's saying to you to choose a new direction. Now, I don't know if this direction is regarding love or it's regarding a uh, you know, family matter or it's regarding... Um, you know, career situation, possibly. But, I mean, there is love coming your way or you are currently in a committed relationship or someone is going to present you with the love of a Shumanji. Let's quickly see. Can he be trusted? Let's quickly see what the angel answers. Forgiveness again. <laughs> Shubanji, either you need to forgive or someone, you need to forgive someone or someone needs to forgive you or something. Because, yeah, you've got, I am so sorry, please forgive me. I hope you can forgive me. And then you've got the forgiveness card. So, yeah. Someone in this current relationship or friendship or commitment needs um, <laughs> forgiveness. <laughs> Yo. Okay, Twist, I'll, I'll definitely get back to you. Okay. Shubanji, yes. You need to forgive him to move on. Um, you need to let go and release. Um, on my, I think it was my, one of my videos on my channel, Full Moon in Virgo. Um, I've basically created a PDF document with the Honopono prayer. I don't know if you know the Honopono prayer. Now the Honopono prayer is basically telling you to let go, um, love the person, forgive the person, um, Care for the person from a distance, but move on, move on. Um, you said you, you are, there's the trust. Let me quickly get back to the trust thing for Shibanji. 
to deceive it. That was the last question. Yeah, you need to forgive him. Romance. <laughs> romance. Romance, you bungee. Lots and lots of romance for you, it seems. Okay, this is too many cards. Let me see. Okay, so next. Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, you can still ask questions. I see that video. Okay, Twist, I will, I will um, pull you a card from the Angel Answers Oracle to see. Okay, Shibanji, it's telling you that you've got support. You've got helpful people around you regarding a matter. And you would know best. Um, trust. The trust doesn't want to come out yes or no um, regarding the trust. But I feel that he possibly is not sharing at the moment. Um, his heart, his um, feelings, his mind. He's not sharing. Um, and I mean he's very direct and a blunt person with the King of Swords. And that's why, because of unhealed wounds from the past, um, and that's that's maybe a reason why he he looks like you can mistrust him, but you can actually maybe trust him, but because he's just not coming over to you in a truthful and a trustful way, that you are possibly questioning his trust, you know. Because of past situations and, you know, um, past relationships. So, yeah. Twist. Twist, let me see. Yes or no for that question that you put in the comments. Mm. <coughs> okay. Regarding... Okay, so twist, the first card that came out for you is ask the help from others. With the angel answers oracle. And if this matter was regarding the stalking person, it might be legal, you know, it might be the police, it might be, um, you know, court, I don't know. But ask the help from others, and then the other card came out to us for you as forgiveness as well. So, I mean, as I said, with tonight, um, SA time, we've got full moon in Libra in South Africa. And with the Libra full moon in the tarot, that's normally the justice card and judgment. Um, because that is balancing out of something. Um, balancing out your family situation, balancing out your work situation, balancing out your love relationship. Um, and whatever you manifest now or your intentions or you are working towards your goals now in the Libra New Moon, um, basically will manifest within a year's or to eight months time. Um, if you put your heart and your soul into that goal and you get as person be driven um, towards that. To us it depends. I mean, I don't know when this matter happened, when you were stalked, but it's telling you to maybe ask, get help from others. This might mean as well, regarding if this was a stalker, that this person already have a police file it can also be and if you do the necessary information and ask more questions um, then you will maybe find out that this person already has got um, a criminal record possibly so twist this come out for you this is success card success I feel this is regarding your move and the situation will improve. I feel this is regarding the stalker card. The stalking person. Sure. 
sure. That's bad. And I mean, with a cyber stalking and a cyber attack. The thing is, um, I don't know where you're from, us. I didn't see now in the comments. Um, but the thing is, if your police um, organization, wherever you are in the world, possibly will have, you know, a cybercrime um, division. And possibly your, you guys' cybercrime division, if you are not in South Africa, will be better than ours. Um, and, I mean, the lawyers are also, you know, updated and geared up with the latest cyber bullying and cyber crimes. Um, they don't have a hobby. The thing is, I think when you go towards the police, you need to have concrete evidence. And sometimes it's very difficult with cybercrime to get concrete evidence regarding something. I mean, like for example, with a mail trail, you know, um, I mean, that is evidence of something. Um, I think you need to juice up your systems. Learn a bit more about cybercrime, that you know what you've got to, you know, what are you, what are you dealing with um, currently, Twist. Your real life. Okay, so Twist, I feel this is regarding your um, possible love connection with the Two of Cups coming your way. Um, inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Inner temple, tune into the portal of your heart. It's enough to leave an actual trail online. Oh my word. I think regarding that matter is, like I said, I mean, get the information. If you need to study, if you need to learn, um, you know, at, at least even if just the basics from what is cybercrime and what does cybercrime consist out of. Um, that you can basically play back their game that they are playing with you. As you say, I mean, they don't have a hobby. They've got nothing better to do with their life than, you know, bullying and looking for shit, if I can say it like that, with you. Um, but the, the, the question is, what do they want from you? Why? Why you? Okay, Twist, no problem. Okay. So, if there's no other questions, then I'm going to do now the weekly energy for Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So the cards that came out for you for your weekly energy, Gemini, is be patient. Be patient. And Gemini, you will know best regarding this. Um, it's possibly a situation, a career option, money option choice. Um, be patient. Rejuvenate. Possibly spend some time on yourself. If you can, um, take some time off, if you can. Um, practice meditation, go inwards. Um, just spoil yourself a bit, maybe this week, Gemini. 
Because I feel that your energy has been a bit tough. You know, the week past. Hmm. Okay, so Gemini, the next card that came out for you is luck is on your side. So luck is on your side. Let's quickly see what else does Gemini need to know from the 28th until the 4th of April. What does Gemini need to know? Okay. Akasha. Okay. So you've got Akasha. Your guidance is div divinely guided. Your guidance. Akasha is divinely guided. So Gemini, possibly this week coming, you might start seeing signs and symbols in the sense of, like for example, feathers. Um, symbolism in the sense of Coins on the floor, wherever you're walking. Um, ladybugs. Feathers. So, yeah. Look for the signs this week. And also, regarding your dreams, Gemini, there might come messages through your dreams for you because it, it says that this week you are divinely guided. And I mean, I feel regarding divinely guided. You are divinely guided from spirit, from God, from source. Um, you are basically on your life path, on your soul path. Um, you are going towards something better. But you are guided. So listen to your gut or listen to your intuition. So with Archangel Raphael's healing cards, you've got the exercise card exercise is key and I'll read that for you so dear Archangel Raphael thank you for motivating me and guiding me to an excessive exercise sorry not excessive <gasps> exercise program that fits my schedule interests and budgets and then Gemini you've got prayer works Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for hearing and answering my prayers. So this is your healing cards or your health cards for the week ahead from the 28th. Hey, Rowan is back. So this is your from the 28th until the 4th of April. <coughs> Let's quickly see what else does Gemini I need to know with the tarot. Hi, Rowan. <laughs> Rowan, we'll see what what does the cards have for you regarding the fights that you're currently presented with. Okay, I just wanted to keep pull the last three cards for Gemini. Okay, so Gemini. Your current general energy for the week is the Hierophant. And with the Hierophant, this might be a person that is, you know, older than you, that is supplying you with guidance. And I feel it goes with the Divinely Guided card. Um, with the Hierophant, for other Gemini people, it might mean... Um, that you are going towards a mar marriage, um, you are possibly in a committed relationship and you're moving further and forward regarding that. But Gemini, you've got the Nine of Wands. And with the Nine of Wands, I feel that your um, boundaries is up. You've built, you've built a wall um, regarding your heart and regarding your mind. Um, due possibly due, due to a past situation, recent past situation. You've got the reunion card as well, or the social world card. 
the three of cups and this is the emotional card um, and this might be uh, mean a reunion with friends family or a long last love person um, but if it is we'll see I'm going to pull another card because you've got the five of swords as well and with the five of sword I mean you can see this guy has got a headache and he is possibly agitated and irritated and possibly sad as well. Um, if this is regarding a love relationship, um, it might mean with the Three of Cups that there's a third party situation um, within your current circle of friends. Um, just quickly check here. Yeah. I just want to... Okay. So let's quickly see what does your love connection Gemini wants to tell you um, if you are currently in a love connection okay so Gemini you need to flirt more if this relationship didn't work out for you in the recent past so you possibly need to flirt a bit more let's quickly see I have basically designed and created this love oracle deck and um, this is basically just love messages that you want to tell your person or, you know, your person wants to tell you. Because normally we don't communicate always correctly in love relationships. Okay, so Gemini, you, either you or your love person miss you terribly. And then what else? Let's quickly see. This rejection is a divine protection. So regarding this, hi Shazat, how are you? So Gemini, if you were thinking of walking away out of a current situation or a recent past situation, it's telling you that this rejection is a divine protected rejection. So possibly it need to happen. There was a reason behind that, why it had to happen at that time and place, possibly in your recent past. <laughs> okay, so now get back to Rowan. Let's quickly really see, why are you feeling tense, so much tense, Rowan? Hope everyone else as well. Twist, thank you so much. Good luck with your move. I do believe that it will be successful. Like I said, there's a lot of back of house planning regarding a move. But you've got the balance, you've got the stableness as you as person or even a Sagittarian person to basically, you know, go through this move. Um, Rowan, uh, not Rowan twist. So, yeah. You've got all the information and support you possibly need um, to us regarding this move. Okay. Row on. Thank you for the well wishes, Twist. We appreciate. Okay. So let's what we see. Row on. Why? Why all the angriness? Um, Rowan, the general energy for you for the week is basically the Ten of Swords. And with the Ten of Swords, this is telling me, Rowan, that you possibly um, went through a situation, and this might be a love connection, work, or even family, that this cycle came to an end, and you are starting a new cycle now. And normally... When you start a new cycle, it is not that easy. There is some residue left from the past. Um, because the Ten of Swords is sometimes a very difficult card in the Tarot. But here it shows that you are possibly going to be walking away from all this angriness and fighting in your current circle of family or friends. 
um, it's also telling you, Rowan, that you possibly need to build some boundaries um, regarding your mind and your heart. Possibly don't let people walk over you, um, you know, and be more direct with people, you know. Um, but also, what came out for you is that you're working very hard with the Eight of Pentacles. And normally with the Eight of Pentacles, before this card, you get the Seven of Pentacles. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you are basically planting the seed to go into the future, to harvest, you know, what you've planted, like, for example, eight months ago or a year ago. And with the Eight of Pentacles, you are possibly very close to harvesting what you have planned, contemplated um, about eight months ago or about a year ago regarding a goal but you are working very hard and you've got the courage to walk to work towards this whatever you've got planned um but just be courageous you know um i feel rowan that within this week um there's going to come a message to you it's going to be very direct it's going to be very blunt with the night of um, swords this is normally a mental energy and this is asking you to take action regarding a certain matter um, but this is also a message coming into you um, it might mean you know someone is sending you a mail phoning you um, social media you are going to receive a message um, with the Three of Wands, as you can see with this card, she's waiting on the waves. You know, she's waiting for the correct wave to go and surf. I feel that you are possibly waiting, waiting on someone, waiting on a situation. Because with the Three of Wands, you've got the Hermit as well. And with the Hermit, this is normally the Virgo card. And the wands is normally the fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, um, Rowan. And what I feel that you possibly can do this week for yourself to assist you um, is go inwards. If possible, I won't say um, cut people out of your life, but just take the necessary time and space for yourself and listen to yourself. And be like this God. Wait a bit. Um, don't take action immediately. Even if you've got the Knight of Swords. It's telling you to take action. Towards a certain situation. And this can be friends, family or love. Work even. But you've got the waiting God. And you've got another waiting God. So don't make abrupt impulsive decisions. Um, this week possibly think it through um, because you've got the star card as well and this is really a beautiful card the star card normally comes after the tower moment when you have a tower moment it's something that's unforeseen that's coming your way and um, and normally you know it's either a negative or positive moment but that is normally as per Gemini's reading the divine is basically stepping in God is stepping in spirit is stepping in to assist you and guide you and with the star God when you had this epiphany or something that came your way you are it's asked of you to possibly go into healing heal your heart heal your mind um, and like I say, take some time off for yourself, Rowan. Listen to yourself. Listen to your gut feeling. Listen to your intuition. Listen to yourself. What does yourself want to tell you? Yeah. So when you're done taking some time for yourself and went inwards and done some meditation and done some thinking, then it's telling you again to take action regarding this matter let me just quickly see what did Rowan else asked 
I just quickly go back in my comments. Yeah. The reason possibly why you feel tense is not because of your energy, Rowan. It's because of the energy of the people around you. Yeah. And then, Rowan, you've got the perfect timing as well. I don't think it's you fighting. I really don't feel it's you fighting. I feel it's the people within your circle of friends or of relatives or family um, that it's their energy that is making you feel tense. Because sometimes we get in the energy of someone else. And that person possibly is self-conflicted. And they are possibly self-sabotaging themselves, you know. And then when we get too close to family or friends or relatives, then we tend to take on their energy. And we are feeling that, you know, they're fighting or their angriness or their sadness. But it's not our energy. It's someone else's energy or someone else's feeling. Okay, so I hope that could answer your question, Rowan. Okay, so next, um, I think I'm going to do the general energy. Shahad, Shazat, if you've got a question, you can ask it, then I can pull a card for you. The same with you, Doline. Just let me know. Okay, so now I'm going to do the weekly energy for um, Virgo. Let's do the weekly energy for Virgo. If no one else has got a question. Okay, so what, is, what does Virgo need to know? From the 28th until the 4th. What does Virgo need to know? If you hear my dog snoring, he's just lying there, he's snoring. We've been at the beach with them. They've been walking too much. <laughs> and they came home very tired. <laughs> okay, so I said Virgo, yeah. Virgo for the week. My nose is itching. Twist my sign. Um, I'm Cancer, but my birth chart, um, I'm Cancer Sun, and then my moon sign is Libra, and my rising sign is Sagittarius. My ascending sign is, no, my rising sign is Taurus, my ascending sign is Sagittarius. So I've got all four elements regarding my birth chart fire earth water and air confusing me <laughs> okay so virgo okay virgo accept disappointments gracefully so you might experience a disappointment this week virgo <coughs> sorry it might be a person. It might be a situation. Mm -hmm. And Virgo, it's asking you to go with the flow. So you will know best regarding going with the flow. It can be work. It can be family. It can be a love connection. Take the lead in some situation, Virgo. Thank you to us. Appreciate Okay, so what else does Virgo need to know? Denise, hi Denise. I will definitely, I will definitely give you an answer. We'll pull some cards for you, Denise. Okay, so for Virgo, I just want to pull two more cards to give Virgo more or less an idea of the energy they might have, you know, the weekend. A fiery climax is approaching. 
and a fiery climax is approaching, it might be some angriness, it might be some, you know, it might be in career, it might be in a family situation, it might even be in a love situation. Um, it might be that people are tired in a work situation, work colleagues, and they're taking out, you know, the wrong things on the wrong people. It tends to happen sometimes as well. Virgo, it's also asking you to build in boundaries for yourself. Have boundaries. Um, where do you need to establish better boundaries? So, Virgo, you possibly need to do... Think and contemplate. How are you going to put in some more boundaries for you for the week going forward? Because I feel that if it's a work situation, um, you will have teamwork in the work situation. People will work together, but I mean, people will possibly have a personal issue and then they'll take it out on you or someone close to you within your work environment. The end of a tough cycle is approaching for you, Virgo. And as I said with the full moon in Libra, um, sorry my nose itching, we need to have balance. A new romantic cycle begins for you, Virgo. Okay, so now Denise. Hi, Denise. Sagittarius in the house. New love. Okay. Let's quickly see for Denise. New love. What does Denise to know, need to know for new love in her life? So, what does Denise need to know for new love in her life? Sagittarius, I've got a lot of Sagittarian people asking questions. Denise, you might currently feel in this Two of Swords moment at a crossroad regarding your committed or love relationship. Do you need to go forward or do you need to possibly um, think and contemplate and rethink the current situation? The current person that you might be dealing with in your love connection might be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo or someone with Earth in their chart got the king of pentacles this might be you as well um, the king of pentacles is a very stable person you Capricorn or they Capricorn <laughs> so it might be you know with the king of pentacles it is a, a very stable person they are also, you know, very business-like, make the right decisions in business. Mm. You are juggling, Denise. You've got the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. And with the Two of Swords, it's you are at a crossroad. With the Two of Pentacles, you are juggling possibly something, someone might be juggling your family you know regarding work even because you are now working more you are juggling possibly something um, regarding love um, they Capricorn okay so this is then the king of Pentacles that came out for you Denise um, they are going to present you with some flowers possibly they are going to message you. They're going to contact you. Um, they. This is the emotional card, the Knight of Cups. Um, emotional decision, emotional choice coming your way. Might bring you some gifts. Might take you out for supper. Um, okay, so... So the new love is then basically this this guy, the King of Pentacles, the Earth sign, Capricorn. Okay. Then let's quickly see what else does Denise need to know. Savita, hi Savita. Okay. So let's quickly pull Denise 
I've created this oracle deck, the Dream Infinity Love Oracle deck. So where your, you want to tell your person love messages or they want to tell you love messages. Let's quickly see what does Capricorn have, wants to say to Denise. I don't know if this is in your recent past or in their recent past, but this rejection is a divine protection. It might be someone else. I don't know if this is currently now. Let's quickly put another card for you, Denise. My life is not together. Currently. I feel this is current energy. And maybe recent past. But I feel more currently. And you'll know best how to it resonates for you, Denise. Savita. Wedding in near future. I hope it answers your question, Denise. Now... It's Savita. I hope I pronounced it right, Savita. Okay, your crush. When will I find my crush? Okay, so I'm firstly for Savita. Twist, how do you know when you've got the right person? You'll know. I made a mistake in my life. I thought I knew. And then... It wasn't the right person for me. Recent past, way back. It wasn't for me. But it took me a long time. So, but you'll know. Your mind will tell you. Your heart will tell you. You've got the right person. Savita. It all depends on if it's your soulmate or twin flame. A twin flame is normally a very difficult connection. You are mirroring each other in um, a twin flame situation, a relationship. When you are down, they are your strength, other way around, but it's also, it can get very dicey in a twin flames connection. Soulmate, um, yeah. Okay, so Savita, so I'm going to pull some tarot cards for you as well. Because the cards that came out for Savita is possibly be a bit assertive regarding your crush. Savita, now regarding this assertive card, I feel that this is like, don't let them know that you you have got a crush on them. Hi, Evert. Don't tell them, Savita, you've got a crush on them. Play a little bit hard to get, possibly. <laughs> then you've got a peaceful resolution, Savita. And I feel with peaceful resolution, you'll know best where this card will fit in your current situation. It might be with a current love connection or a recent past love connection. And then you've got the no card. And I would like to clarify this card for you with the no Um why you've got the no card, Savita. Hmm. Savita, you've got meditate and contemplate. Meditate and contemplate regarding your crush. Think things through. Be assertive. Let's quickly put you some tarot, Savita. Yes. Scorpio. Yeah. Um. Okay, Savita. Savita, you are also currently possibly in this energy of juggling. This might be juggling a situation, juggling work. Then you've got, and a lot of cards came out for you, Savita. You've got the King of Cups. This is either Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Or someone with water in their chart. And I don't know, this is the current person that you are dealing with, or this is your crush, crush Savita. 
but it's asking you to have balance and think things through again um, to be assertive with temperance because with temperance it's basically balance one foot on the earth or ground and one foot in the water to have balance I feel Savita regarding your recent past if this is your crush they have basically caused you a lot of headaches and pain and sadness even or this might be a recent past person that you were in a commitment with and you possibly walked away from that recent past person with the eight of cups and there's a lot of cup cards water sign cards emotional cards then when you walked away Savita you went into healing with the four of swords and you basically healed yourself from this recent past relationship that you were in then you possibly met your crush that you are now thinking of I don't know why your recent past came out but now you currently with the eight of swords up in your head and you are thinking and contemplating regarding your crush you are thinking a lot about the situation and I feel what you're currently juggling is your crush and your work with the eight of pentacles Savita because you've got the juggling card you are possibly juggling your crush and your work or a work situation or a family situation um, and the crush I feel again because you've got the King of Cups and you've got the Queen of Cups. And this is a divinely guided connection. This is also a soulmate um, twin flame connection. It's either two water signs or two people with a lot of water in their chart, their birth chart. Savita, let me know how far is is that is that so far what you wanted regarding your question. So let me see. Okay. Your crush. Let's quickly see what does your crush want to tell you, Savita? With my Dream Infinity Oracle deck that I've created, love messages. What does Savita's crush want to tell them? And then what does Savita want to tell their crush? Your crush. Okay. Okay, so Savita, your crush or you, and you must tell me how it resonates for you. It will be either you or your crush. I am yours always forever. And then you've got, you need to tell me. So I don't know how this is going to resonate for you in your current love situation. Let me just quickly do this. Um, you need to tell me. So someone need to tell someone something regarding this relationship. Let's quickly see what else. What does Savita need to know? And for you as well, the same with Denise, wedding and new future. And I mean, this card deck is a 54, you know, cards in this card deck. And I've been shuffling. So Savita, there's possibly in the near future for you a wedding. It might be your own. It might be, hello, Papa. It might be someone close to you in your family circle of friends. Um, a wedding that you're going to attend. There's definitely a wedding in the near future. I feel, Savita, regarding your recent past or current past. Oh, Lisa is here as well on Facebook and Papa. So, Vita, regarding your recent past or currently now, you would know best. There has been possibly a third party situation.
And then also, so because someone is asking you to forgive them. So let me know. Yeah, I hope you can forgive me. So, Vita, so let me know how this resonates. But I mean, I see a lot of water signs or people with a lot of water in their chart. Pisces, cause uh, Scorpio, Cancer. Might be your current crush. It might be someone from the recent past. Um, just let me know, Savita. Yeah. Hello, Papa. How are you? Hi, Lizo. So, yeah. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you, Savita. I appreciate. So let's quickly see. Papa, do you have a question? Look, I'm on Facebook Live as well on my group, Dream Infinity Brand. So if um, someone is interested in tuning in, on my group as well. It's a pleasure, Savita. Thank you so much for the question. Denise, anytime. Anytime, I hope I could help. So, yeah. Um, Papa, I've done Cancer's reading for the week. It looks good. The energies look good. The sun, um, God came out for us. And uh, also a lot of choices and options, but the energy feels good for the week. And um, yeah, Virgo, Virgo, I've done the weekly energy for Virgo as well, Liesl. Um Regarding Virgo, there's going to be possibly a work situation that someone is having a personal issue and they're going to possibly take it out on a Virgo. But don't take it too seriously because you've also got a lot of decisions and choices for the week coming. But, um, and someone might disappoint you. And I feel it might be in a work situation with the Virgo energy for the week. But Virgo is also telling you to build in some boundaries. To say no when it's needed to say no. Okay. So... Does anyone else have a question? Otherwise, then I'm going to continue with the Scorpio energy for the week ahead from the 28th until the 4th of April. Yeah, Denise, I saw you ask something about Scorpio. So, yeah, then I'm going to do the weekly Scorpio energy. Um, for the week ahead, let's quickly see what a Scorpio need to know. I just need a sip of coffee, please. I need more coffee. Hmm. Okay. So what does Scorpio need to know? To see. For the week coming from the 28th until the 4th. Denise, I hope you're still here because I'm doing Scorpio now. Because I think you asked Denise your Scorpio. <coughs> okay, so Scorpio, for the week ahead for you, focus on success. And this might mean success in your current love life, success in your work life. But also, sorry, my nose is itching tonight a lot. Love yourself, Scorpio. Love yourself um, for this week coming. So to see what a Scorpio need to know with the monology. <laughs> Twist. I'll pull a card for you. Okay, so Scorpio, you might go through some sort of situation. And it's telling you conclusions are within reach. Um, it can be work, it can be a family situation, it can be a love connection. 
Um, yeah, and again, a personal issue um, reaches a resolution. Scorpio. Let's really see what does the tarot say for Scorpio. Mahima. Hi, Mahima. Sure. You can ask. You can ask anytime. Mahima. So, Scorpio, Scorpio, you might feel that you're currently in the Five of Pentacles energy. And with the Five of Pentacles, you'll see here on this card. You're feeling sad. You're feeling abandoned. You're feeling alone. But at the back there, there's the key. Yeah. First twist and then Mahima. So, there's a key at the back, Scorpio. You are able to open the door. But you are feeling a bit abandoned. There's the key. And I feel that this is more of a mental energy. Possibly an emotional energy as well for you Scorpio. And then you've got the three of cups. This might be a reunion or teamwork at work. Um, but also in a love connection. If you recently moved away out of a love connection. This might be. That it was a third party situation. Um, what else? So twist is next. I'm going to answer your question now twist. And then with the ace of pentacles. Um, Scorpio this is possibly a new financial offer coming your way. A new job offer. Or either a love offer coming your way Scorpio. Okay so now twist. And then Mahima. Traits of the person, twist is going to meet. Traits of the person. Okay, I'll tell you, um, twist, I'll tell you. Papa, I'll answer your question then after Mahima um, for cancer. Okay, so, um, twist, you are going to be presented with a lot of options, decisions regarding this person, possible new person with the Seven of Cups. Coming your way. The new person that is coming your way possibly is either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or with water in their chart. Or it might be, strongly, an air sign person with a judgment and a seven of swords. Um, Scorp not Scorpio, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, I do see if you meet this person that you are going to be very happy to us. Because you've got the sun card. And with the sun card, this is the abundant card. This is also the Leo card, a fire sign. Um, this is abundance in all ways and forms and happiness and love. Um, Let's really see what does your future love person or current love person twist wants to tell you. Maima, I will pull a card for you for your exam in April month. I will do. Okay, so twist for you. Someone in your recent past or a past person is wishing they could take back their words regarding a love connection. And then and then someone also might be you as well, Twist. I want all of you. So I hope it can help. But Twist, um, ultimately it might be an air sign person with or with air in the chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water side person, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, um, possibly coming your way to us. So now it's Mahima with the exam in April. Mahima, I'm going to pull you the Angel Oracle card. Um, let's quickly see what the Angel answers. Oracle card regarding Mahima's exam in April. No problem to us anytime. Anytime, Mahima. I'm just going to do the cards like this and let's quickly see for Mahima. Okay, 
Okay, my email, it's asking you to remain positive regarding your exam. If you hear snoring, it's my black dog. He's just stepping over there. It's not me. <laughs> um, my email, there's a recovery. This might be either you or a family member or a friend. Recovery of either financial stability, recovery of, um, you know, medical um, health issue, possibly, Maima. There's going to be recovery. Um, it's asking you to be assertive in a situation, and you'll know best, Mahima. Where do you need to be assertive in a life situation, um, family situation, or work, or career, or school? And then you've got, um, let me just, what you see? Um, you've got the no card. Now, I don't know, Mahima, how this is going to resonate for you regarding the no and to be assertive. I'm going to pull you two more cards, Mahima. Take action. I feel regarding this exam, you possibly need to do something within yourself, additional, extra. To be able um, to take this exam. Like for example. Like for example. Hi Ma. Uh, Maima. Like for example. You need to do something extra. So. Um, find out. There's something that you need to know. There's something that you need to find out. Um, regarding taking this exam. You need to find out more information um regarding taking this exam i feel that below the surface there's something else regarding this exam that you possibly don't know of um and i want to pull you another card maima and then i'm off on to papa for cancer what does maima need to know Mahima, you possibly currently feeling that your emotions is running high. And this might be either regarding the exam or it might be regarding a love connection or a family situation. It might also, I feel that you possibly feel a bit anxiety. You've got anxiety. You possibly feel as well stressed. And then Mahima, it says a personal issue um, reaches resolution but i still feel regarding this exam there's something else that you don't know yet that is underneath the surface yeah there's something else i won't say there's something fishy regarding the exam but there's something else that you need to know mahima and then you've got the timeline card a year from now so, regarding this timeline, God, Maima, I feel that you are divinely guided. Hi, Kevin. You are divinely guided. And if you are able, with the COVID pandemic, only be able to take your exam, for example, with a year from now, then within this time, as per the card came out a year from now. Take time, if you can, to create. Create something for yourself. Create an um, entrepreneurial opportunity. I don't know if that is going to resonate with you. But I mean, I feel that my email regarding your exam and everything in the pandemic, you are um, divinely guided regarding this <laughs> okay so now papa what do we need to know for cancer for the week ahead 
Let's quickly see. Um, okay. Strengthen your gifts, Papa. So, you would know best regarding your gifts, your God-given gifts. Um, you need to strengthen something. And then let's quickly see what else does Papa need to know. And then after Papa is, firstly it's Kevin, if Kevin has got a question, because he came in on the live feed. And then it's Marius on Facebook. Okay. Papa. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Papa, it's happening for you, not to you. And then let's quickly see what the tarot for Papa. Um, what does Papa need to know? Okay. Okay, so Kevin, no question yet. So then I'm going to um, pull a card for Marius on Facebook. Papa. Papa, you've got the Hierophant. And this might be a person older than you. Um, this got to do with legal documentation as well. Contracts that you need to possibly sign. Um, a person with wisdom. That's going to present you with information. Um, what else? You might feel currently in a two of swords. At a crossroad. Thinking and contemplating about a decision. Um, I got a lot of two of swords tonight. For you know a lot of star signs. You're tired Kevin. Shame. But by then you've got the Nine of Wands. And regarding with the Nine of Wands, it's telling you that you're possibly um, feeling a bit defensive. But also with the Nine of Wands, it can be a positive card. It can be telling you to possibly build boundaries. To be able to say no. You know, if you really want to say no towards someone or some something, a situation. And then you've got the Five of Pentacles. And with the Five of Pentacles, um, this is possibly you might feel sad, you might feel unhappy currently, but there is the key. You are open, you are able to open that door. And I feel regarding this, Papa, you need to possibly look around you um, do not focus just what is in front of you. Look around you for this opportunity that's presenting to you with the key. So let's quickly pull you an angel answers oracle. Okay, Marius, I'll ask you, I'll, I'll, pull, so I'll pull a card for you. Papa, it's also asking you to take action towards something or someone. And then the last card I'm going to pull you, Papa, is the Monology card. Let's really see. Shame. Shame, Kevin. How is the UK? Is the UK still in lockdown? Papa, the answers that you need are coming. And also with this, I feel... Hmm, yeah. The answer is coming. Cracked open. It's happening for you. Not to you. And the answer is coming. For Papa. So Papa, I hope this could help. For you. Okay. So now Marius. So you see what does Marius. When is things going to stop? Okay. This would be first see um, your current energy, Marius. Um, 
Okay. Let's quickly see. Hmm. Marius. Okay. Marius. First card that came out for you, Morris, is the Sun card, and I mean the Sun card, as I said, is the best card in the whole tarot. I mean that is the happiest card in the whole tarot deck, because that is the card of abundance, love, abundant in family, abandoning financials, abandoning love, and abandoning family, and abandoning work. Cool. Broken ears. Okay. My card says I'm going to shuffle. Oh my word. I just took my attention off for one bit. And then my card says I'm going to shuffle. Let me shuffle again. Um, this is going to come out now as well. Um, now let's quickly see. Marius. Okay. The next card that came out for you, Marius, is the Emperor. And this is um, possibly a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it might be you. And the Emperor is normally a very stable, solid person um, when it comes to business, when it comes to family, when it comes to love. But also with the Emperor, it's someone, and it might be you or someone else, um, older than you, um, that's a very wise person, but they are very cold hearted and they don't open up much. Then, with the Eight of Swords, it's telling me you, Marius, um, you are almost at the end. You are currently up in your head a lot with the Eight of Swords, thinking and contemplating. And as you can see, um, she can easily let loose. You know, of all this ropes around her. She are, she's easily, you know, she can untie her from the situation. Or he can untie himself from the situation. But you are possibly thinking and contemplating too much about a certain situation. Or a person. It might be work. Family. So let's really see... What else does Marius need to know? We've got the team workout, Marius, as well. Three of Pentacles, and it's asking you to basically, you know, it requires teamwork in a love relationship, in a work situation, in a family situation. Someone needs to support or assist. You need to either support or assist someone. Um, the King of Cups, this is possibly a water sign person or with within the chart, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. That you are currently either in a love relationship with or committed relationship or a boss or a family member. Um, so let's quickly pull you a card from the Moonology. See, regarding this bad luck, the sun is definitely, the sun card is definitely there in the near future. And we'll see with the Angel Answers Oracle if a possible timeline will come out for you regarding this bad luck for you. Don't give up yet, Marius, if you might feel like that. Yeah, you are very close to achieving your goal. So, Marius, you are very close. And I feel regarding this card, you are very close to the sun card, the abundance card. Um, I don't know if you've set out a goal for you a few months back that you were thinking and contemplating of. Um, so yeah, you are going towards your goal. 
And Morris is telling you that you are ready in a situation. So, I don't know how this is going to resonate for you, Morris, that you are ready in a love connection or a work situation or a family situation, but you are ready. But it's also asking you to get more information regarding this matter. So, Morris, I hope it could help. Let me know. Um, is there any other questions? <laughs> oh, oh my word let me know who else is there is papa still there yeah papa still there i think pleasure marius anytime anytime sara hi sara I hope I say Sarah or Sarah. Let me know if I pronounce it right. Sarah. Sarah. Okay. No questions. This is a hard time. I want to see how it unfolds. Okay. Let's quickly see regarding your tough time. Sarah. Okay, so let's quickly see. Recent past, the King of Cups, Spicy Scorpio, Cancer, someone with water in the chart, fell out. I feel that's recent past. So you see, current, you've got the Knight of Wands. It's either you taking action towards something or someone taking action towards you. Um, and this might be in love. Might be in work, might be in family, but someone quick think information is going to come in to you. Okay, what else does Sarah needs to know? Sarah, You've got the death card as well, Sarah. And with the death card, I feel that this is near future. You are possibly ending off a cycle, starting something new. Um, you are in the final stages of this current situation. Um, and I mean, normally after the death and rebirth card, you know, things starting to look up, but sometimes there is some residue left of the past situation. Then you've got the Seven of Wands in the near future and the Ace of Cups. And I feel with the Seven of Wands, this is possibly you um, that are going inwards, um, you know, um, doing meditation, um, building your walls, building your boundaries regarding the situation that has been tough for you. But you are going to present it either with a financial offer or emotional offer with the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is really a beautiful card. It's a card of stability and um, being solid in your emotions, heart and feeling. Um, let's quickly see Sarah with the Moonology. What does Sarah need to know regarding the situation? Hmm. Conclusions are within reach. I'm not going to pull you a love card. Um... But because I don't feel it's regarding love. But let me know if I'm wrong. If this is regarding love. Because Sarah, you've got break the chain. And regarding this, it says ancestral patterns. Healing, rewriting the future. 
ancestral patterns, rewriting and healing, and rewriting the future. Um, this week I'm going to pull you a card of the Angel Answers um, Oracle, Sarah. Let me know. The unfolding regarding the situation is that you are going to step into your power, Sarah. And you are possibly going to go inwards, listen to your intuition, listen to your gut feeling. You are possibly going to build boundaries. Um, you are going to present it with a financial love offer or some kind of offering opportunity regarding the situation. It's also telling you to trust yourself or either trust the situation, Sarah, and then what else? Let's receive for Sarah. Trust the situation or trust yourself. And Sarah is also asking you to get more information regarding this tough time. Um, break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting the future. Okay, so a few cards came out. Sarah, I feel that in your recent past, you had a Ten of Swords moment. And this is like severe sadness and unhappiness. It can be in work, it can be in family, it can be in a love relationship, but you decided to walk away from it. It might be that you possibly decided to move away from a work situation or earth sign person. Um then due to the fact that if it was a work situation and it became unbearable you went into healing with the star card and abundance you went into healing regarding the situation you did i feel from your side did put in teamwork regarding the situation and the situation also might have been regarding a third party situation um, if it was in a love relationship then you've got the sun and the sun is in the near future and the sun came out a lot tonight it's the um the card of abundance in the whole you know tarot it's the best card in the whole tarot abundance in all forms um, love, you know, connection, finances, work, career, um, family. And that's for your near future, Sarah. Um, you might as well have an emperor person, an Aries, a Sagittarius or a Leo, a fire sign person within your current energy, or it might be yourself. Um, this is also a very stable person, mentally, hardly, completely a stable person, work-wise making good decisions in business but this person might as well be very um very blunt very direct sometimes very cold um they don't tend to show themselves or their feelings that easily okay so sarah i am sarah baker i hope that i answered your question the unfolding of the situation, it's telling you to get more information. Trust the situation or trust yourself. And you are possibly in the cycle, starting something new, ending of old cycle. So, yeah. I think that was the last questions of tonight. So, we can basically wrap things up. I don't see any other questions. Yeah. Rockineers, are you ready? Yeah. Is there any other questions? Yeah, so basically, 
Um, I am grateful and happy that I'm on a bit of leave now, that I can actually spend some time on my three YouTube channels. My three YouTube channels is called um, Tarot Dreams 88, Dream Infinity, that's Chows, my Chow Boys, Dream Infinity 88, and then my meditational channel that I started is Dream Infinity Brand, where um, when I do my monthly readings for you guys, for all the Zodiacs, I listen to my meditational channel and the music and the videos that I created there. And then also what I do in my free time or hobby time, I create oracle decks like this one, the Dream Infinity um, Love Oracle Deck. Um, so I create oracle decks, tarot decks and Lenormand decks in my hobby time, free time. And then what else? So I've got three YouTube channels, yes. Charles and the readings and I do private readings as well on my Fever or Fever account if you are interested in booking a private reading with me if you are from overseas um, I do twice a month um, psychic fairs psychic markets the crystals if you are interested in buying crystals, I will leave the link below. You can contact um, Nina Ganshi. She are able to courier for you if you are not staying in South Africa or not staying in Cape Town. She are able to courier crystals for you. If you use my name, Chantal, then you will get 10% off um, on the crystals if you're interested in buying crystals. She also got a shop and within the shop she's got incense sticks, she's got singing bowls, she's got saris, so she's got all that information in her shop. But I'll leave it in the link in the description box below. Regarding my oracle decks, I'll leave the link in the description box below as well. Regarding my social media accounts, that will be in the description box below as well. And yeah, um, until next Sunday evening. Thank you for choosing in. I really appreciate. Have an amazing evening, have an amazing morning, have an amazing afternoon. Good luck for the week ahead. Stay safe, look after yourself, and look after your family. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate, I'm grateful, and I'm um, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.